Whew. Hi, good morning. First of all, Happy New Year to everybody. Hope you've had a wonderful holiday period. I'm back to normal now, definitely here anyway. But I've had some lovely gifts over Christmas. So we're going to actually start to have a look at some of them. You will have seen the thumbnail, but there is a little bit more information on this one as well as the thumbnail. Because the thumbnail, you will see the doll because I wanted to do some separate pictures of her. But I will now explain what that is supposed to mean now this was a christmas present from my son Ta -da! and we have you can see it says merida here it's gorgeous we're going to be opening her sort of top down in a minute but there's a little sneak peek she is an absolute stunner absolutely love her to bits but the other part of this video it won't be another box opening yet because we're going to run back to back because it is two dolls. I'm just going to pop this one to one side. But the reason being is we went on the Disney site after Christmas. You should never look in the sales, should you? But we did. Well, actually, it was my daughter that sent me the link first and then I looked and I ended up with another box. And in this other box, we have Cinderella. Now, the reason I got Cinderella, and keep an eye out for this because I don't know whether the offer is still on. Um, <laughs> my son was not impressed with this. He bought me Merida and she'd been reduced, like my Snow White, from, I think, it, what were they? Were they 120, something like that? I think they were about 120, might have been 130. Uh, and they've been reduced down to £55, which was fabulous. So that is why I got it, the Christmas present. But then after Christmas, they reduced them to £32. So this Cinderella was £32. So I just couldn't, I couldn't not. Who were they 110? I can't remember. Anyway, they were over £100, put it that way. So from over £100 to £32, well, it would have been rude not to, wouldn't it? So yes, I've got Cinderella as well. As much as this opening was just going to be about Merida, I just wanted to mention the Cinderella because in case you want to have a look, because like I said, Merida's reduced down to 32. There's quite a few of the others because it looks like they've got their new range of these, what are they called? The design, eh, I can't speak, designer collection. So it looks like they've got the new range in, so they're selling off the others. So it's certainly worth having a look if you do like your Disney dolls or if you know somebody else who does, what a wonderful present for them at an incredibly reduced price. So we're going to go top down now and have a look at Merida. And then I'm going to do a separate video so we can have a look at our Cinderella as well, because I think she definitely deserves her own video. So I'm going to see you in a second, top down, but I am going to do some sort of back to back intro. So <laughs> I'm going to do an intro actually next and then we will go top down and we can have a look at our Merida. So I will see you in a second or two. Well, here is Merida. Now, I'm half doing this stood up because it's, it's going to be quite a hard one to look at uh, because the box is so big and my stand doesn't go any higher than this. So, unfortunately, this is the level we're working at. So, as you can see, it's the Disney Designer Collection. You can see the artwork on the boxes. Look, we have the bear print, paw prints here. We have a thistle. And as it says here, it is Merida, limited edition, uh, one of 9,800. Shall we have a look? I know she's gorgeous. I just know she is. Oh, I'm going to move her to one side. There we go. Absolutely stunning girl. We have her information here. So this is her documentation, should we say. She is 6,539. So I'll pop that one back in there. These boxes I do keep. I don't keep all my boxes, but these are a definite keeper. We have a little bit of information here, and it is Wesley Jenkins, who is the designer. It's the ultimate princess celebration. So I do need to turn the box over as well, but I want to do a quick look. You can see the boxes are absolutely beautiful, really well made. But I think you might want to have a look at what's on the side. It just says Merida. And on the back, we have a little bit more information regarding the designer. Now, here we go. So we have Wesley Jenkins. It says, Disney Designer Collection is proud to introduce the Ultimate Princess Celebration. So it looks like this is something they're going to keep doing, though. Because I know, like I said, these are reduced. And then, as I've mentioned, Cinder um, Cinderella was reduced again. And um, then there's a new range out, which some of those... Oh my, but I think if this is how they're going to reduce them, I'm going to wait till next Christmas until they come down in price. 
So again, a little bit of more information, uh, just Disney shop, etc., etc. Nothing exciting there. And these are clearly collectibles. These are not toys. That's the other thing I think we need to sort of establish there. So I'm going to open the box again. And I can't remember how I got into my Snow White. Because we need to get in here, don't we? So I'm going to turn her around, all the way around, and see if I can remember, without damaging, how I got her out. It looks like it's lifted. In fact, so I don't damage the box, I'm going to pause a second and then I'm going to sort of take her out of this bit already and then you can have a look at her from there. So I'll be back in a second. Right, I'm back again. Yes, she did literally just pull out. Oh, you can see all my reflection there. Uh, and again, this just has a lid that pulls off. So there's no messing about ripping the boxes or anything like that, which is good for me because I'm an absolute nightmare getting things out of boxes. Um, because these boxes are so beautiful, I do need to keep them. So I'm going to pop that on the floor as well. So now we can see her in her beauty. Oh, look at this. Oh, I didn't realise there was fluff around the boots. This is absolutely stunning. She's going to be coming out of the box because I want to stand her with our Snow White. So we can just do some little clipping here. Even this is sort of this little bit here. It's like a flock. So I don't want to damage that either. But I might need to at least... So there's a little bit of tape holding it on. I might need to a little bit to get her out of this bit because I think this is inside here. So let's see what else you have, Mrs. Oh, I'm so scared of breaking her or messing her up. Let's have a look. Hey, that was a oh look at all these curls. Just look at that. Amazing. Now, I know there's one under here, but the thing is, I'm stood up, as I said, so as I can get a full view of it, and that's making it a little difficult. There's one arm done, a little bit of plastic. I do think these, even if you're keeping your dolls in the box, are worth taking off because they do damage them over time, which I have now found out in the hard way. Right, that's a wire that's holding her body in there. So, can we see these from the back? We can, look at that. Right, that's that bit undone. And these pieces, if I can be really careful and just sort of slice them, I might be able to lift them up as well. Please be careful when you're doing this with a pair of scissors. I wouldn't recommend it really. That's that. There's one. Sour tape stuff all over my finger. This one doesn't want to go, but again, I don't want to do too much. Oh, there we go. I've got it. Because these need to push through to get her. So there is one more of those here. I'm hoping she's not falling out and uh, hitting her head on the table there. And there's another one. So that pushes, hopefully, pushes straight through. Which it feels like it will. Over again we go. Have you loosened out there, missus? Or is it just the plastic casing? It is. But that's okay. That's good. I can't believe I'm, I'm just staring at her while I'm doing it because the detailing is just so beautiful. Hey, nearly, nearly, nearly. I'm going to suddenly hit the camera and it's probably going to go flying, isn't it? Right, well, because it is only the plastic box, I am actually going to cut it. It's not her, it's just the box. I mean, that top part of the box is still attached to her, but that's all right. We'll sort that out in a minute when she's out completely. And again, I don't want to damage this. Can you see? It's like in a, a plastic. I'm not bothered about the plastic. I just don't want to damage the base. So I'm going to try and cut the plastic. Can I do it? Hey, that's one and the other one hopefully I can get to a bit better now so it's like almost like a little stage this let's move her dress out of the way that's all I need Ta -da! she's actually a sort of out she's got a little bit of a dress attached there for something and there right another box to be removed but I've got it out whole makes a great scenery it's just a beautiful way of displaying them if I had the room, I would probably display them sort of like that. 
Right, I can now actually sit down, so bear with me. Oh, sorry, missus, turn your back over. Just look at this. She's just she's just beautiful. Right, let's try and get this plastic off her back. I do think she's one of the more detailed out of the collection, and I think the themes work better for her. I know we've looked at some of them and gone, well, what's that theme got to do with it? And things like that. These scissors are really rubbish. They're not actually my craft scissors. I don't even know why they're here in my room. Oh, tags. I hate these tags. Right. I think for now I'm just going to pull this plastic off. But look, you can see she's got these tags in her hair. I will sort those out afterwards. So let's have a look. Oh, look, the detailing is just absolutely outstanding. I don't even know where to start. I mean, look at these curls. I mean, they are just so beautiful. Look at her face. There's eyelash details that are there. The makeup on her face is just absolutely beautiful. She's got the one earring in the one side. And again, look at the detail, how tiny the chain is. It's it's just really, really beautifully done. She's got this little piece. This is actually still attached to her, but again, I will leave that on for now. But I will take it off because I don't like the rubber band pieces on them. And then we come down. The dress is gorgeous. The fabric's really nice. But look at this. Even down to... The little bow and arrow here, the leather belts, literally do not know where to start. Love the fur here, I love that asymmetric sort of look. She has a little bag, which I'm going to take that piece off. I know that holds it in place, but look at that, the sort of like a drinking horn. Um, the fastening for the bag, and then we have the paw print again. The bag is solid, it's not one that opens, but it doesn't matter, does it? Again, we have little plastic bits, which I will take off. But the chain then continues down the dress. We have this beautiful swag. And look, I can't wait to turn this over. Look at the embroidery as we can see it starting here. Now, these are, let me see, if this is cotton, I will leave those in because it keeps the fold in. If they're not, when I sort of properly examine it, or I think they are, look, they look like they are cotton. I will sort of... If they were plastic, I'd take them off. I'm going to have to get her off the stand, I think, before I turn her over. Because I need to get rid of this. Will she slide off? Oh, love a pair of boots like that. Again, these left on will mark the boots. Take them off if you're going to be taking them out of the boxes. But the thing is, if you're keeping them in the boxes, you can't win either. Well, this is a nice fancy performance of a... Somebody had fun doing this one, should I say? It's wrapped around about 300 times. Right, well, I think what I'm going to have to do is, I don't want this plastic. So let me get the stand out of the way and we can properly look. The stand is one of these saddle stands. It's just a nice stand, nicely made. Obviously on the bottom, you've got the signature of the designer. It's just a nice stand and they do stand really nice on those because I know my snow, that's what my Snow White is on. Now, so this is well and truly attached. We will look at the other boot though, but look at the boot details. Again, sort of the mock chain, the mock lacing. It has the little, can you see? I don't know whether you can see that well enough. There's like little bear claws over the end. Nice sort of heel, nice piece of fur around it, which is nice. Oh, it's just, everything's just perfect. It's just, just so nice. Now, shall we turn her over? We won't. We're going to look at her trousers first. These trousers are gorgeous in the same fabric as her dress. Now you can see these little little things that need taking out. Because the part about they put these in and they do actually make a tiny weeny hole in the fabric, which is not good. Right, let's turn you over and we can have another look. Look at this. We have this beautiful sort of... It is actually separate fabric put on, I think. Is it painted on? It actually feels like it is sort of properly put on, properly appliqued, and then obviously they just stitched over it. It doesn't feel like it's painted. It might be. If it is, it's beautifully done. That's all I can say. You can see the back of her dress here. Just velcroed together. And obviously we can see that she's a Disney doll there. But the trousers are a separate pair of trousers, which is really nice. Again, it's not like it's all been sort of thrown together and put together. Um, it's they are proper outfits. Look, you can see where the trousers sit there. And this this over thing is just so beautiful. 
you can see all the folds as i say i think oh no they're not look the little plastic ties don't do that they are Mm. I'm in an iron now whether to take them off or not I don't want them really in because I don't want them to damage but then is it going to really affect the flow of the skirt you can see them all in here I don't think it will so I am going to very carefully take them out because she is going to be just sitting out on display it's like that that's sort of stitched on to hold a bag in place i don't know why i get it if it's in a box they don't want it moving about and if people are leaving it in a box they don't want it moving about but i want her out i want everybody to see her because i think she's absolutely stunning i mean what do you think of her I mean, look at that hair i mean the hair alone sort of stands out a mile let alone all these extra pieces of decoration and the detail in she's beautiful that's all i can say she's got bits of armor so she looks really powerful with that she's got articulation in the elbows shoulders the knees don't usually oh we, we have a little click bend there's there's a little bit of a bend there but i'm going to be taking her outside and do some photos she's going to look amazing i know she is but yeah every time i look at her i go oh and then oh and oh look at that and there's a little bit more detail in there but yeah, so her arms move, which is nice. So her head move. Oh, we get that cute little side look. A little bit of forward and back. I do like it when the heads go slightly to one side. I do think that's quite cute. I'm hoping that was all in shot properly because I'm now so too busy staring at her. I normally look through the camera, but uh, I'm too busy looking at the doll. So this was a Christmas gift from my son. Absolutely love her. She is perfect and she's going to be going next to my snow white and then i will do a separate video for our cinderella and she's going to go up there as well so that gives me a couple of these designer collection ones and definitely wait for the sales for the next ones so let me know what you think do you have one of these you may not be a disney doll collector i'm not as such I'm so eclectic. I like her. Oh, a bit of Disney over there. Oh, a bit of Barbie over there. I know Cindy's and my smart dolls are my main girls, but other dolls sort of just slip in because they are beautiful. And I do think they look amazing. Obviously, they've got, well, I've got Rainbow Highs. There's some Lol dolls in there. We have some Pullets. I'm looking around the room now. And obviously, I have my Blythes and my Midi Blythes. And yeah, there's quite a few. I do need to get this room tidied up, though, and organised and then perhaps i can let you have a little look at what we've got so there is my merida love her to bits she's going on the shelf when i've cut all the little silly little bits off and i'm going to get on to doing my cinderella soon so i will see you all very soon let me know what you think of her and bye bye for now Bye.